and welcome to this morning's vlog. I've been thinking a lot about conversations I've had with people about getting from point A to point B in their lives and how much consternation and frustration and confusion they feel about that. And most of the time I find that one of the biggest sources of frustration that people have is that they think their journey is supposed to be a straight line between point A and point B. You know, I've set my intention, I've made my goal, I'm here, I want to be there, and all these things are happening in the middle. And as we talk more, I really get a sense that it's the normal process of growth that they're going through. That we try things, they don't work out, then we try something else, we make mistakes, we um, get distracted and take tangents and go down rabbit holes, and yet we're still moving forward as long as we're moving. And the metaphor that I've often used for myself to help me feel more reassured and that other people have also found helpful is that going from point A to point B is really not a straight line for most of us but it is more a process of two steps forward and one step back. But if you notice we're still getting from point A to point B but a part of this journey not only feels backwards, but in a way it is. That we go forward for a bit and then we get lost or confused or make a mistake and then we reorient and come forward again. And if you think about it in a way, if we had a physics person here they could explain it a lot better than I can, but actually that backwards motion can actually build momentum to help us take that leap forward. So those detours are important. They are a part of the journey. They're part of an ultimate moving forward. And I'm wondering what it would be like if we started viewing those detours in a more compassionate and hopeful way. Not as a sign of failure, not as a sign of all is lost, but has a sign of, I'm in movement, I'm in process, and this is happening. I am getting to my goal. So let's tap on that a little bit. Even though my journey is two steps forward and one step back, I accept myself exactly where I am in this moment. Even though Part of my journey includes detours and distractions. I trust that I'm still getting somewhere and that at my core, I am a good person. Even though part of my journey on the surface feels like failure, I deeply respect and accept myself exactly where I am. And up to eyebrow. Sometimes I feel so defeated. When I make a mistake, I feel like all is lost. And then I beat myself up. Because I think I failed. And I believe I'm getting nowhere. And I'm even more discouraged than when I started. Because I feel like I put in all that effort and then I failed. And then I'm even more demoralized. I take every distraction, every mistake, as complete failure, as a disaster, as evidence that my efforts are futile. 
I get so discouraged. So discouraged. So discouraged. So discouraged. I get so tired and discouraged that I don't want to try anymore. And stop, take a breath, notice where you are at this moment. Measure the sense of discouragement that you might be feeling. Zero to ten, where is it now? If it's still kind of up there, you know, anything above like a three, continue to tap on the discouragement and any other feelings that come up around this. And as that number comes down and more of the sense of defeat and discouragement um, are relieved, then come back up to eyebrow and let's begin to move this into a new direction. As I release this discouragement, I feel room to see this differently. I choose to remember all the moments of progress and of success. And I choose to allow that to encourage me and give me hope. I've made a lot of mistakes and got confused. And I've also gained more clarity. and found new creative solutions to problems. And I'm open to the possibility that facing some of these obstacles called me to bring forth my creativity and my problem-solving skills. And that not only strengthens me, but gives me new insight, new ideas and approaches that wouldn't have occurred to me otherwise. I choose to begin to accept that struggle is part of the journey. to enjoying the feeling of accomplishment when I overcome those obstacles. I choose to celebrate my strength and my intelligence and my creativity and my determination and my love for my goals. That makes it worth the effort. It makes it worth trying again when I fail. And when I stumble. In fact, I'm open to the possibility of letting go of this word failure, at least the vast majority of the time. You know, I'm not sure this word say, serves me well. I choose to think more in terms of a puzzle, a block, an obstacle, a 
challenge that I'm equal to overcoming. I choose to focus on being a remarkably skilled problem solver. And I'm learning more about problem solving every day. And I'm getting better and better at it. And less afraid of the obstacles in front of me. As I learn to trust my skills, my strength and courage more. I am so grateful for my gifts that equip me to overcome obstacles. And I choose to focus on the joy of step by step reaching my goal. I am so grateful for my gifts. And I'm so grateful for my journey. Mm. Take a deep breath. And go out there and travel. And trust your gifts. Because they're there to serve you. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.